Cities across America are working to address maternity mortality rates. Alicia Nieves is taking a look at some possible solutions. Chris, the statistics around maternal mortality in the United States are startling. The U.S. has the highest rate out of any developed country in the world, to the point that an American woman today is 50 percent more likely to die from giving birth to a child than her mother was. And if you are a woman of color, you are three to four times more likely than that. At Rush University Hospital in Chicago, neonatal intensive care nurse Christy Lawrence has dealt with maternal mortality, both professionally and personally. My cousin, um, Shantae, she was young, um, healthy mother, 18 years old. She, you know, had no risk factors that we knew of. 10 years ago, Lawrence was at work when her cousin went into labor at another hospital. I received the call to say, you know, Shantae's in labor, we're gonna have a baby today. And then a couple hours later, a turn of events, I get another call, her mom is screaming, I need you to get here quick, something has went terribly wrong. The healthy 18-year-old mom suddenly went into cardiac arrest while giving birth to her son, and she died. It was very shocking, very shocking for my family to kind of see that whole turn of events when we were expecting everything to be normal. Christy Lawrence's cousin's death was caused by medication that was administered to her the wrong way her death could have been avoided. In fact, according to a Center for Disease Control report published this year, 60% of all pregnancy-related deaths in this country were and are fully preventable. Hi, Diana, my name's Jerry. I'm one of the labor and delivery nurses at Rush. At Rush University, it's trying a new program that makes sure new moms get a checkup shortly after leaving the hospital. We'd really like to send a visiting nurse out to your house three weeks after you have your baby. Since the top causes of maternal mortality all come from post-delivery complications. If you feel like something is, you know, is going wrong, then make people listen to you. And if that person won't listen to you, then you have to either go up the chain of command in that system, or you have to find somebody who's willing to listen. Advice Christy Lawrence wishes she could go back in time and tell her cousin. For The Race, I'm Alicia Nieves. And that'll do it for us this week here on The Race. Be sure that you join us next week, debt. It's easy to let it pile up over the holiday season, so we're taking a look at how debt impacts Americans all year. Until then, from Santa Fe, New Mexico, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.